All right, this is a video on the muscadine leaf. Muscadine leaf. The muscadine leaf can be done just like a grape leaf, exactly like it. You can wrap food up in it. You can steam it. You can boil it. You can bake it. It's very edible. It's edible just like a grape leaf. Very good for you, very nutritious, and doesn't taste that bad either. So, if you can do it just like a grape leaf, think about uh, think about what a good survival food that would make. It would make an excellent survival food. Muscadine leaves are everywhere. Muscadine vines are everywhere. A muscadine vine will grow right in the middle of the forest. So think about when you walk through the woods tripping over those muscadine vines, seeing those muscadine vines and leaves all throughout the woods. Uh, sometimes when they're in the woods shaded like that, they don't produce much fruit, but they always produce leaves. And that is an excellent survival food. They are everywhere. The muscadine leaf, just like the grape leaf, makes an excellent survival food. It's all muscadine. So that's all food. So in a survival situation, if you're in the woods, walking through somebody's yard, whatever, all you gotta do is grab those muscadine leaves. But they make an excellent anytime food. So you don't have to run to the store to get grape leaves, you got muscadine leaves. Anyway, I'm not an expert. You need to consult with a local expert before you go eating anything. This, and well, the tree that it's in is a uh, cherry plum. Cherry plum tree. Oh, let's see if I can grab one. These trees pop up everywhere. I mean, I wouldn't consider them a wild edible, really, but they are everywhere in the south. Anyway, we will see you on the next one. The muscadine leaf can be done just like the grape leaf. And also, before I forget, you can you can take these leaves, dry them out, and make a very good tea out of them. Nutritious tea. Dry them out, make a tea. Anyway, we will see you on the next one.